Welcome back to the shop. I'm Jeff from Today's Craftsman. And this is the one table saw accessory that you should never use. So you might recognize this. This is a plastic push stick that um, it looks just like all of the other plastic push sticks that come with table saws when you buy them. Um, in my opinion, John is in agreement with me. You should never use this. This, um, if you run this into the blade, the chances of this exploding in your face are very high. Um, in our shop, we use wooden push sticks. So this is one that John gave us a long time ago. You can see it's, um, it's on its last leg. And we're actually getting ready to cut some on the laser. And maybe we'll have those up for sale. But in the meantime, um, I think John's going to make us a new one and he's going to make two and we're going to give it away uh, along with some other stuff that we have, maybe some honey t-shirt possibly. And to enter the giveaway, just leave a comment down below and yeah, good luck. Do you have any personal experience with a, a plastic push stick? Oh yeah. I forgot, forgot where this video was going. <laughs> so me, uh, before, before, um, John put us on to his design, I was using something like this. Um, this is my preferred sort of uh, shape where you're, you're more over top of the work. But before that, uh, I was a site carpenter and I had a Bosch 4100 table saw and it came with a push stick that looked exactly like this, but it was red. And um, I was working late one night. I was working on a, a walk-in closet and I'm up on a second floor in, in this old house in Red Bank and I'm running dados for um, the shelves. So doing like all this site built cabinet work. And I ran into the dado blade with that push stick and it literally it blew up in my face. Um, I can't say that that would happen every time that you hit the blade with a plastic push stick, but I know for a fact that if it was a plywood push stick, which is what I prefer now, that it wouldn't have happened. Um, aside from that, this is not the most ergonomic. You can see if I, if I put this parallel to the table, this sort of strange position, it puts my arm in. Um, you know, you want to be, that's not thick enough, but you want to be pushing, what thickness is this made for? You want to be pushing, you know, so that this is parallel to the table and this is, you know, up against the back of your workpiece. And it, it just, you don't have a lot of control because you're, what is this, 18 inches away from your, you know, your material. Um, something like this is much more natural. You know, this feels, feels right. And even this, you know, feels right. But something like this, I, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to keep you as far away from the blade as possible. Um, and Plastic is a, a cheap and easy material for them to, to crank these out, you know, via injection molding. But in, in all ways, this is just a very bad push stick. So you're better off making something yourself. You can find templates online. Um, and there's, I'm sure there's people selling, you know, their own designs. But yeah, I just, uh, I don't think that this is a good idea. So just a little bit about this design. It, it actually has a little sense sentimental value to me. I literally made this first push stick when I was probably 17 years old, working at a place called The Woodworker in Wayne, New Jersey. My boss, Bob, he, um, this is what we used. He made them. Uh, he was the kind of guy, if he was eating lunch, he would make his own utensils. If, they, oh. if like the deli didn't give you a fork, he yeah. would just make it real quick. I have really, those. yeah. In the office. Really super talented, talented guy. I'm friends with him to this day. And uh, when I eventually made a little wood shop for myself, I simply uh, made one of these at lunchtime and I've basically been using the same design ever since. So it's just kind of funny how something like that sticks around. And uh, I've always thought this was just such a great design because I like to be able to see and it's kind of you're, you're far enough away and I like how it fits right in the Beesmeyer fence. Yeah, that's a big one because you can see, you know, the one that I used to use. It doesn't, you know, you, you end up knocking it off. This, I mean, you can see they multiplied. They're all over the shop now.
But yeah, I mean, you could fit three or four of them in here. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's really, it's just a really nice, simple design. And for me, the proof was in the pudding when I dropped one off to Jeff and Rob. First time I was on the podcast. Yeah, I mean, it's going back. Three or four years. Yeah. So um, I dropped this off and, and Jeff and Rob just sort of simply started to use it. So that, to me, basically said it's a good design. Yeah. Uh, one thing I do like to do is after I make them, I always use Baltic birch plywood half inch. I'll take the bandsaw and just cut them down a little bit more. I know that we're always going to hit them with the table saw, yeah. but I just like to do that just to thin it off a little bit. And um, so, yeah, what I'm going to do is make one of these in my shop out of Baltic birch. I'll find some things in the shop and uh, we'll create a giveaway. And if you want to be in that giveaway, just leave a comment down below. And, um, and then eventually... Jeff and Rob will be making them on the laser, and that's something that we'll be selling on the site. All good? Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Good luck. I'm back here at my shop, and I'm going to make one of these push sticks to give away, along with a few other things that are in the shop and maybe upstairs in the studio, and maybe one of the Today's Craftsman t-shirts. So I'll go ahead and trace the push stick first on a piece of half-inch Baltic birch plywood. Well, that didn't take too long. Cut it out on the bandsaw, cleaned it up a bit with the belt sander, and along with the push stick, we're also giving away a little honey. This is the spring summer honey. It's a little bit lighter. This is the fall honey, much darker. I don't know why, but it, it generally is, and I kind of like the darker honey better. A 20-piece Montana brand drill bit driver set. There's a few drivers in here, a few drill bits a Montana brand hat, and one of my barn logos. This one is in blue. So if you want to enter, enter this giveaway, just leave a comment down below. We'd appreciate it if you'd tell a friend and also share everything on your social medias, really trying to get the word out there. We really appreciate you tuning in, and we're really excited how this channel is growing. So as always, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.